Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're going to open a box of Ravnica Allegiance. I have almost none of these cards. I have not opened a box of this yet. Um, shout out to Rudy at Alpha Investments for the great deal in the box. 80 bucks each. Not bad. So, uh, average, you know, average expected value is around 100 bucks. So, let's, we're going to try and break that. On the high end, we can see like 130 for the box. Big hit. So, Hydra Crisis, Breeding Pool, Blood Crypt, Godless Shrine, Stomp Ground, Hell of Fountain. Spawn of Mayhem's even creeping up in price, which is pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, you got your Smothering Tides, your Kaya Orzov, the Usurper, your Deputy, Detention, Deputy of Detention, Surf of the Scales, some really good uncommons in this set, like Light Up the Stage. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna dive in and see what we get. I'm really excited to see what's in here. With uh, the new announcement of Pioneer, all these prices are starting to shoot up again because you're looking at a lot of staples that are going to be in the, the format for years to come with uh, the Shocklands in particular too, so. Alright, I'm just going to, I'm going to take them out because it's fun to hold all these packs. Right, let's put them over here to the side. Alright, so we're going to do, we're going to do prayers Mythics, foils here. I'm going to put all the uncommons, except I'm going to look for some of the more pricier uncommons, like light up the stage, put them off to the side as well. Wilderness Rec Reclamation. Some uh, some of these things are worth a ton in foil, too. So, all right, let's get started. Yeah, so really like Ravnica Allegiance. These cards feel really good. They feel a lot better than the Dominaria cards I had opened our felt. Walk Lost. Starting off with a Repudiate Replicate. So I'm going to fumble my way through these first couple packs just as I get organized. Okay, Commons, Flames. Rally to Battle, Sphinx of New Prov, Sentinel's Mark, and End Razor's Forerunners. It's been seeing that getting a lot more play in uh, in mono green decks. Just a pretty cool card. It's a good card in Brawl too. There are a lot of really powerful cards in this set. Fun cards, and I'm sure they're going to be <clears throat> pioneer staples for a long time. Excuse me. Pose Deploy, Incubation, Incongruity, Regenesis, Nikaya the Always. Nikaya? Yeah, the Always. It's a pretty cool commander card, or brawl card, I should say. I played a bunch of uh, brawl on Arena last week when it was out, and uh, I did see one deck that used this pretty, pretty effectively in a Riot deck. Geek Colossus. Rhythm of the Wild, paired with Rhythm of the Wild. This is a pretty cool combo with Nikai of the Old Ways. <clears throat> Forbidden Spirit and Lumbering Bowman. I should put in these piles in the right spot. Oh, and our Foil Rares Amplifier. Probably, probably one of the worst rares to get in Foil, which sucks, but that's okay. It's really not the goal of this. We really want that Hydra Tracer. And this is one of those Shock lands. Try and go for the whole cycle of shocks. That would be awesome. Eyes of everywhere. Eyes everywhere, rather. Graveling claws. Gatebreaker ram. Godless shrine. First shock. Nice. And a foil spike wheel acrobat. I'm gonna put the shocks up here with the foils, so I can easily see them. Storm Drake, Sky Tether, Spire Mangler, and Tithe Taker. Nice. With a foil Sphinx's Insight. I love Tithe Taker. So great card. Very balanced in my opinion. The fact that it only affects your opponent on your turn is pretty uh pretty balanced in my opinion. So. 
casting cost isn't bad either for a two-one body. Ministrant, ob ob ministrant of obligation. I'm going to try to pronounce these correctly. Gatebreaker Ram, Rumbling Ruin, and Ethereal Absolution. Pretty cool card. Uh, expensive, situational, but pretty cool all the way. A foil, Collision Colossus. A lot of foils so far. Four foils in the uh, first third of the box. So this is pre core 2020, so it's one in every 67 cards is a foil. So it's like one in every four packs. Whereas the new packs, it's one in every three. So chances of us getting another foil rare though are higher than normal because it was so high up in the box and might there might be another foil rare somewhere down here at the bottom. Just that I know from seeing other patterns, opening other boxes, you're chances of getting a second rare are more likely if it falls early or if it falls early in your stacks. Zurtar Goblin, Wilderness Reclamation, nice, pull that aside, that's a separate uncommon. Cry of the Carnarium, really good card, and a Revival Revenge. Cry of Carnarium, see the last play. Well, maybe I won't pull the side dollar uncommons right yet. more from the total value at the end. <clears throat> Vindictive Vampire, Sunder Shannon, Blood Mist Infiltrator, and Guardian Project. Guardian Project is a pretty cool card in Brawl as well because it because you're playing singleton, you're not going to have cards with the same name ever. <laughs> so, uh, unless you're playing some sort of practitioner's deck. But, pretty cool card nonetheless. A little expensive, but it's okay. Galloping Luthrog, Colt Guild Mage, Junk Troller, and Precognitive Perception. Probably a card. I love the color of these packs. The packaging is so vibrant. Good snare, another good card. Oh, another Rhythm of the Wild. Seeing a lot of play these days. Syndicate Guild Mage, Tin Street Dodger, another card seeing a lot of play. Oh, there you go, Kaya, Kaya or, or, <coughs> Orzhov Usurper. It's a nice uh, $5 card. Uh, no, let me see. I got that thing up right beside me. Yeah, three, three fifty on average. Little Planeswalker Mythic. Very cool. Don't have her. I don't really have any of these cards. Just a few random packs that I've bought. Basilica Bellhorn, Flames of Raised Boar, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, and Deputy Detention. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good, uh, what is that? Worth more than the Mythic, which is pretty funny. It's four dollars. Four dollar rare. Yeah, Kaya's just not seeing play, even at a three drop. Everyone's all about that Oko three drop life. Man, these cards feel so nice. I just see so many inconsistencies that I need to comment on them every time that I open them up. Senate Guild Mage, Angelic Exaltation, Rumbling Ruin, Smothering Tide. Nice. That'll Seven, eight dollars there. It's a really good hit. What you want? All right, dagger caster, high alert, Azorius Skyguard, Tome of the Guild Pact, and a foil essence capture. Nice. It actually sees a lot of play in mono blue, so that's pretty cool. Guild gates to the side. It's nice to just have a pile of guild gates. <laughs> you pretty much need them all the time. Screaming Shield, Smelt Ward Ignis, Swirling Torrent, and Be Deck Be Dazzle. Another card I see get played in Brawl. I can speed it up a little bit here, I think. Stop rambling. 
Geek Wings Spy, Regenesis, Spirit of the Spires, Stomping Ground for the second shock land. Nice. Pop this over here. Alright, looks like we're on track to get about four shock lands, but let's the way that changes. For the better. Steal the curse. No uh <clears throat> no light up the stage yet. Thrilled Mystic, clear the stage, Blood Mist Infiltrator, Biomancer's familiar. Bullrack Clan Crusher, Cavalcade, Cavalcade, not Clade, of Calamity. Love this card. I play it in my red deck like everyone else. Forbidding Spirit. And Domri, Second Mythic. Another Planeswalker. Very cool. Domri, I don't think, is worth anything, but that's fine. He's, uh, yeah, it looks like he bought $2. $2 Mythics. Very good worth money. It's not seeing play. There we go. That's a good one. Mortify. Screaming Shield, Tin Street Dodger, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Pretty fun little card to build again. <clears throat> Enraged Saratok, Dovin's Acuity, Scrabbling Claws, Gruel Spellbreaker. Surprised Gruel doesn't seem more play, but uh, also not at the same time. There's a lot of good, good playable cards these days. So Gruel really took a hit in price. Bionic Upgrade, Gateway Sneak, Combined Guild Mage, and Zagana Utopian Speaker with a Foil Watchful Giant. Getting a lot of foils, which is good. Shame they're not the ones that are uh, really home runs. Right. Persistent Petitioners, nice, right on top. Let's see. Getting a little bit of a cramp. <laughs> Got to shift here. Deposed Deploy, Spire Mangler, Carnival Carnage, and Awaken the Erstwhile. A lot of weird cards in here, too, that I just never see played. It's amazing how many cards, every set, just how many get forgotten. How many get overlooked? How many don't find their place for years to come? And somehow, somehow there's lots of sleepers too. Hackrobat, Gruel Beastmaster, Orshav Enforcer, Benthic Biomancer. Alright, so two thirds of the way to the box here. <clears throat> Another Gateway Colossus, Cry the Command, Gates Ablaze. Pestilent Spirit. All right, let's call packs. Let's get it. Let's get that Hydroid Traces. Let's get them. Let's make this box worth it. Otherwise, we're looking at a pretty lackluster box. Galloping Lizrog, Archway Angel, Resolute Watchdog, Unbreakable Formation. Incubation drew a nice little green staple there. Not worth more than a dollar, which is really no, two bucks. Hmm. Rector's file fire wheeler. Fire wheel? Yeah. Code of constraint. Dovin's acuity. And thrash threat. Yeah, unfortunately, these, uh, I think historically even, these double cards don't really ever have huge value, which is funny. They always print them with such high costs and weird abilities. Oh, there we go. First light up the stage, and so worth pulling off this side just because of value. Basilica Bellhorn, Orzhov Enforcer, and a Hallowed Fountain. There you go. Let's pull off that side as well. Nice $10 bill. 
still pretty far away from the value of pay, to the price of the box, but I think they're getting close. That pack definitely helps. Bankrupt in Blood, Pivious Pontiff, Incubation Incongruity, Rick's Matty Reveler. Shark the Crab, Dagger Caster, Carnival Carnage, Electro Dominance. Again, I don't have any of these cards, so it's cool to have some of them. Like pulling for that Hydra Crisis. Two mythic, mythic boxes. Pretty sad. Just how my boxes have been going. Kind of annoying. All right. Consecrates Consume. Troll Red Guardian. Clan Guildmage. Lumbering Battlement again. Not the rare you want duplicates of. All right. We're getting down to it. Last uh, five packs. This one included. Archway Angel, Gates Ablaze, Syndicate Guild Mage, and Scargan Hellkite, their third mythic. All right. Well, at least we didn't get two, even though Scargan isn't great. Not the big money card. But still pretty good card. Too many games. You sneak it in there. Gateway Sneak, Gaia Engineer, Code of Constraint. Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay, that's good. Come on, high good for a good chance for that fourth mythic. That's good. Let's get it. Get that value. Orzha Racketeers, High Alert, Essence Capture, Be Devil. Not a bad card. Not mad to see it. I just realized he's a cup that had a cut in the middle. Probably would be easier to open that one. Just realizing that. Uh, Wayfinder, Clamor Shaman, Sky Tether, Font of Agonies. All right, guys, last pack. Pretty uh, underwhelming box. No breeding pools. None of the big hits that I, that you really need to. Fifty dollars in value in just the Hydro Crisis and breeding pool alone, and I didn't get either of them. So jump right to the rare by accident. Buff foil skewer the critics. I think that's worth a little something. Lavinia Azorius Renegade and Sentinel's Mark. Have mockery rally to battle. All right, guys, that's it for me. I will uh, give you a price update in the next video if I get to it quickly. Uh, otherwise, I'm guessing somewhere around somewhere around sixty to seventy dollars in value here. So not great. Probably lost money on this box, but that's okay. Uh, when you get it at cost like this, not that big a deal. Thank you, thank you again to uh, Rudy Dalton Investments for the great deal. I appreciate it, man. You make this uh, this little hobby much more enjoyable. Thank you. Take care, guys. See you next time.